Kentucky fans made sure the Cats had a big crowd behind them today. Let's turn it over to Tanner Hesterberg, who is live outside Bridgestone Arena. Tanner, you could tell just by watching on TV that place was really loud. <laughs> Hey, Angela, that's right. You know, they call this place Rupp South for a reason. It was absolutely rocking today, as it has been the past three days when the Cats were playing. The crowd made sure that the Wildcats had a decided crowd advantage, and many members of that crowd are from Eastern Kentucky. And after the game, I talked to them about what it meant to witness Kentucky win another Southeastern Conference Tournament Championship. Big Blue fans left Bridgestone Arena the same way they left Friday and Saturday with their team victorious. What do you think about it? What do you think about it? So you it's came really fun. Really fun, that's right. Loved it. Go Cats, baby. It was a great game. I mean, I was nervous the whole thing, but yeah, overall, it was, it was awesome. I loved it. Someone else who loved it, Tammy Ellis, who couldn't help but dance in celebration. It makes my liver quiver when we win, okay? <laughs> Other UK fans were a little more subdued, but equally excited. Super exciting. We're super proud of the Cats today, and we just um, had a great weekend, a great time, and loved watching them play, and we just love the Cats. Hoping the school's 29th SEC tournament title propels them to a ninth national title. We will have a lot more coming up later in sports. Josh will have reaction from players and coaches on Kentucky's win over Texas A&M here in the SEC Tournament Championship game. But for now, reporting live in downtown Nashville at Bridgestone Arena, Tanner Hesterberg, WYMT Mountain News. Thank you so much, Tanner. You can tell the energy is really high out there. Thank you. Well, not every